Hello you guys, my name is Sierra. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am currently a first year nursing student. It has been a hot minute since I've sat down and talked with you guys. I hope everybody is enjoying the holidays and if you are currently on Christmas break, I hope you're enjoying that too. Thank God finals are over. I just wanted to sit down and chit chat with you guys and basically go over a recap of my first term of nursing school. I just wanna go over my thoughts and share my opinions with you guys and kind of what I was anticipating and what it was really like and yeah, things like that. So before I jump into that, I just wanna preface this that every nursing school is different. It's crazy how different schools can be. There are multiple nursing schools in neighboring towns that I live in and it's so interesting to see how vastly different they all are, especially their first term or semester. So yeah, like I said, I just wanna say, Every school is different. I'm sure you're well aware of that, especially if you are in nursing school or if you are looking into applying for nursing school because I'm sure when you look online, you're like, what the heck, this school wants this and this school wants that and it's a lot. This is all subjective to the school that I'm attending. Also, I wanna mention that the school I'm attending is an ADN program. So when I graduate in a year and a half, I will graduate with my associate's degree in nursing. There are other programs that you graduate with your BSN, which is your bachelor's in science and nursing. And I don't wanna go into too much detail. There's pros and cons, I feel, for each program. I chose the ADN program. Well, I only applied for this ADN program. I'm happy with it for a couple different reasons. I can start work quicker, so. I only am in school for two years and then I can start working as a nurse. And something that's really amazing that my school offers is we have like an automatic acceptance into OHSU, into a BSN program. So immediately when we graduate, after we pass the NCLEX, we can start working as a registered nurse and simultaneously be working towards our BSN. So that's my plan, to be working as a nurse and making money and also doing my BSN online. So that is that. Maybe I'll make a video discussing more of the differences between the ADN and BSN program. And then also, at least in the state of Oregon, which is where I live, before you apply to any nursing program, you have about a year and a half or two years of prerequisites that you complete at college. And those include your core classes, like your basic maths and Englishes, your sciences like your chemistry, your anatomy and physiology, your biology, genetics, nutrition, electives, psychology, all those sorts of things. So you complete that, then you apply for your program, then you start your nursing school, which is a whole beast of its own. <laughs> We're gonna cut right to it. So, my school, I watch a lot of nursing students' videos on YouTube, and I think a lot of people's schools work on a semester base, but my school doesn't. We have terms. And I would like to say that like there's some sort of mathematical equation behind terms to semester, but there really isn't because I know most people have two semesters in a year, but we have three terms in a year. So our terms are 10 weeks long and they're divided up three times a year. So we have fall term, which is from the end of September to December. We have winter term, which is January to March, and then spring term, which is April to June. And then we have Christmas well, I almost just said that we have Christmas break, but we have summer break. Oh my gosh. Um, yes, yeah, so we have summer break. Wow. I just completed my first term of nursing school and it's so crazy because I just remember sitting in my microbiology class just thinking about nursing school and I'm going to apply for it and it just... It felt like it was so far away. And so to have already be completed with my first term and know that I only have a year and a half left until I'm working as a nurse, it just, it makes me so happy. Honestly, it's crazy. If you're looking into nursing school too and you feel maybe overwhelmed because I know initially I was, I had changed my major a couple different times and I just wasn't sure. And then when I was looking at nursing school, it was a lot and I was overwhelmed. I just want to say that if I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um, so for my first term of school, we actually are only taking one course. I'm not exactly sure the reasoning behind that. I know other schools, like I said, in another school in a neighboring town, I know they are doing more courses than us. Everything is subjective and it varies, but we only did one class this term. That was health promotion also known as like fundamentals of nursing. So don't get me wrong, it wasn't just like one easy class, it was a nine credit class. And then simultaneously you have clinical 
and that feels like another class in itself because you really have your didactic, your lecture assignments, and your clinical assignments. Those are separate from one another and you have to pass both to pass the class clearly. It wasn't just like a walk in the park. <laughs> um, I think this was their way of kind of easing us into it because the next two terms are what I've heard the hardest terms in the program that I'm in. This is where you either excel or it's a wake-up call that you need to create better studying habits or better time management or things like that that we can all work on. <laughs> Health promotions or fundamentals of nursing, it was a lot and I felt like it was a lot of information, just overwhelming and then especially with the current times that we are in, you know, things were consistently changing in my program. So it was really hard to make like a set schedule or, or to plan out my whole term because assignments were changing. You know, we were doing clinical in person at a nursing facility at one point and then we weren't able to do that anymore. Everything was consistently changing and I think that's how it is in nursing school regardless of what is going on in the world right now so adding what is going on right now to nursing school i think has made it a little bit more chaotic but in retrospect i think it really prepares us to our career you know what it's going to be like when you are working in a hospital or wherever you choose to work and you're working in a high stress environment with <laughs> big decisions and people's lives at hand and things like that. I mean, my big takeaway was I felt like I couldn't stay as on top of things and as organized as I could have per se in my A&P class when I received anatomy and physiology. When I received, you know, a full syllabus of what the term and what it's going to look like and these are the dates of the exams and this is what we're going to do and we were really structured. We stuck with those dates whereas this was just kind of learning as we go and being flexible and taking it day by day like genuinely taking it day by day because so many things were changing the class itself it was a lot so i don't really have prior experience in the medical field although i would say a majority of the people in my school do have experience being a cna or an ma an emt even caregivers. I was in a CNA course. It was like a month long class, Monday through Friday, because I was planning on working as a CNA. And then in the midst of that, I got called, I got told I got accepted into nursing school. And so I completed the CNA course, but I had originally planned working as a CNA after I had finished the CNA course. Once I found out I got into nursing school, I didn't follow through with that because I just wanted to save as much money as I could before I started school. And unfortunately, I was making more money doing my other jobs before that. I was a server and a barista, and I made more money doing that than I would as a CNA, which <laughs> I, I can go on a tangent about that. But anyways, we're not going to. I think you're getting my point is that I just wanted to save as much money as I could. So I don't really have healthcare experience. I just took that month long CNA course. And thank God I did. I'm so happy I did because when I was initially applying for school, so many schools will give you extra points or it's so beneficial to them for you having prior CNA experience. And I just never really necessarily understood that. To me personally, it was frustrating because it went back to like, of course I would want to be a CNA, but I also have to make enough money to support myself and my car payment, my rent and, and things like that. And so I never really went through with becoming a CNA. I continued doing other jobs that I was doing and it made me a tad frustrated because I felt like that was working against me because all of these schools want you to have this experience. But now I totally get it. I completely get it. And I would recommend anybody looking into nursing school to become a CNA or get your CNA, get a little bit of experience. It's not necessarily what you're going to be doing as a nurse. You get a taste of what it's like. And in nursing school, the full first term for me was CNA skills because a CNA is a certified nursing assistant. So when you are a registered nurse, you will be delegating tasks to CNAs, <laughs> but, but you can't delegate a task. It's, it's not fair 
to delegate a task to somebody when you aren't yourself capable of doing that task. That's where having the experience as a CNA comes into play and that's why we are learning all these skills initially to set a foundation as the nurses that we are going to become. So as far as clinical went, we were doing a bunch of skills that I remember learning in my CNA course and a lot of people were familiar with doing that have had multiple years of experience. If you had no prior health experience, I feel like it could be overwhelming because it was still overwhelming to me and if I had never even heard of changing a bedpan or changing a brief or giving a bed bath or things like that, I would have just been so lost. <laughs> Obviously everybody's different. I just want to say I really think that that is super beneficial and that helped. For clinical at my school, we were in person the whole term. Our lecture class got moved to online, so we were doing that online, but we were still going to the school once a week. We had gone to a nursing facility a couple times before we got told we weren't allowed to go there anymore. Totally understandable. We were still doing things hands-on and in person, and it's really interesting being in this program too and comparing this class to other classes that I've done in college and even in high school because honestly one of the biggest differences you are surrounded by groups of people that I mean I don't think anybody is an innately a bad person but people that want to go into the medical field the nursing field I I feel like are just good people, people that want to help people, people that care about people, people that are empathetic and nurturing and people that are taking their education seriously. Everybody in the program is spending a lot of their time investing their money, investing their like heart and soul into this and they're taking it seriously and they want to succeed and they want you to succeed because we are all working closely with one another and it's it seems almost like a catalyst. It's teamwork. We're all working together. That's one of the things that I've liked the most is that everybody is taking their education seriously. Everybody is helpful. Everybody is trying their best. And it's also really interesting because, you know, you're working so closely with people who all have completely different backgrounds, life experiences, totally different age demographic. We have 18 year olds to people 40 and older different opinions and beliefs, but we all share the common theme of wanting to be nurses and wanting to help people and wanting to further our education. And I don't know, I think that's something that's so special. So for our clinical days, my class consists of 64 people and due to COVID restrictions and everything, our class kind of got split into half. So half of the class would come for clinical on one day and half of us would come on the other day. And then we got divided even more after that. We got split up into groups of eight and this is called our cohort, which is really cool at first. Initially, I was like, what the heck is going on? But now it makes so much sense. You are going into this program and you probably don't know anybody and it's nerve wracking and you have to learn a lot of information. It's a lot to take on and basically our program put us into these groups and this is your cohort also like your nursing family for the remainder of your time in school and after there's a group of eight of us including myself we are all with each other when we're performing our skills so we do different clinical rotations and my group of eight we all stick together and we do that so we're working pretty closely with one another practicing our skills with one another we have individualized attention from instructors with our group we do group projects with our group we do breakout rooms in class with our group we have a group text asking questions going over exams how we think we can help each other studying together it's an automatic circle of people that you can rely on you can trust people that are going to be there for you in this program when things get tough or people that are going to be there for you when things are going good people that are automatically your friends that you can talk to it's really nice especially if you're shy and maybe not initially outgoing because you're just thrown into it and everybody is and you just have to work together and so that was something that was super cool that I didn't know <laughs> was a thing. We have our cohort. We have a group of people that kind of discuss everything with. We, If we have any questions on assignments, we go to them. Clinical was 10 weeks and it basically consisted of going to school once a week and practicing skills, medication administration, going over the basics, just 
setting the precedent of our foundation of our future careers as nurses. Clinical was obviously my favorite because it's hands-on experience. It's just exciting when you don't know how to do something and then you learn how to do it and then you're like, hell yeah, I can do this. It definitely was encouraging too because there would be moments in lecture where I'd be confused about what I was reading or I feel like I'm struggling a little bit. I would practice that, demonstrate it, or it would just solidify my confidence, I guess you could say. Even practicing the whole head-to-toe assessment, which was like the big thing that we really completed. Because I remember when we were initially looking at that in the beginning of the term, it was like, no, <laughs> how am I going to be able to do this? We broke it down into different components and it seemed just so foreign. It was crazy. And then at the end of it, we're able to perform a full head-to-toe assessment in, and it's just hell yes we can do this we have this it's just gonna take time and perseverance it's amazing seeing how everything is coming together i feel like this video this is already all over the place i'm sorry i'm just saying what's coming to my mind okay now i want to talk about lecture what my thoughts were on it so our class was initially supposed to be in person at school but it got switched to online so it was from 9 to 2.50. So it was like six hours, but we had a one hour lunch. Got switched to online to Zoom, which I didn't think was horrible. Initially, I was kind of sad, totally understood why it's happening. I like to be in person and be able to ask questions. I thought that it was gonna affect my education and my learning, and I really don't think it did, at least for this first course seemed like it was totally possible to do it online and it worked out great. So we did the class online via Zoom and what was nice since we still had clinical in person, we were able to see our lecture instructor in person and if we really wanted to talk to her privately or ask her any questions, we could in person as well as online over Zoom. The class had a lot of information and one thing that caught me off guard was <laughs> you think that you know things and you do <laughs> but there was just a lot of information and a lot of questions in this class that you you could read these questions and you're like oh I know the answer that's super simple and easy and you're wrong you are just wrong <laughs> and then you understand why but you really have to take away your own opinions and biases and judgments and beliefs and your background to an extent you're going to be using your background and your education and your learning how to solve problems but sometimes it's really hard to read these questions that you're studying for for the exam and not personalize it like what would you personally do because that's where it'll get you that's one thing i, I went in i guess feeling like wow this is going to be easy and i was wrong as far as studying for the midterm and the final what i really felt to be was the most beneficial because there's so many reading assignments for this class it's not just one textbook like anatomy and physiology it's i want to say we use six or seven six seven or eight and you're reading chapters from each textbook and a lot of the chapters are similar information that they're offering but it's a lot of information a lot of facts a lot of acronyms to remember and as much as I would say read everything that you can, I personally don't think that me sitting there reading 50 pages of information is really how I'm personally going to retain it. Some of the chapters I would I would kind of skim, like go over like the big points. And what really helped me was practicing questions. There's a ton of questions in the back of the book at the end of the chapters. And there's a ton of questions that are available online through Quizlet, I mean, there's so many resources with technology that we have today. It's really helpful to continuously practice questions pertaining to the specific chapter I was reading because when you practice a question and then you have four or five answers and then you find out if you got it right or wrong, you figure out the right answer, then you learn the rationale behind why those other answers are not correct. And I feel like that's really where I learn in kind of like a weird way. I need to know why something is right or wrong and I'm an example simple example but basically this wasn't even a question for school this was something that my brother and I we were playing a board game you don't need to know anyways it was what carries blood to the heart the veins the arteries the lob I mean there was like a couple different options right you guess your answer maybe you say arteries or maybe you say veins <laughs> well the correct answer is veins veins carry blood to the heart 
arteries carry blood away from the heart. And what I'm trying to get at is what's nice about studying questions like these is you see the answer and then you see the other answers that aren't right and then you can know why those aren't right. So you're not only learning information about this one specific question, you're learning information about the three other options that were there and what those necessarily do. It's a way to learn information and really prepare you for the midterm and the final because that's what they are. They're simply multiple choice questions, at least in my program. There was no written responses or anything like that. It was all multiple choice. There was a couple select all that apply. Gotta love those ones. Love those. Most of them are multiple choice, which is really nice. And then from what I understand about the NCLEX, it's going to be multiple choice as well. Really tricky multiple choice, but multiple choice nonetheless. So that would be my big takeaway is to practice questions. I know when people were getting together in study groups and things like that, we were all talking and it just seemed like practicing questions over and over was just much more helpful. And sitting around and discussing like an overview of the chapter and what we know from it and like trying to pull information, it just really seemed more helpful to practice questions. I'm gonna stop there because I wanna make a whole video about studying for this specific course and how I got an A and anything else that I wanna tell you guys. Um, it went by so quickly. It just went so quickly and it seemed like as the weeks went by, things became more smooth and you just become more comfortable with yourself. You become more comfortable being up close and personal with people when you're practicing these skills. You become more confident in talking in a certain manner as you would as a nurse, teaching information and just, I don't know, it's just so exciting. I don't know. I didn't know that I would feel this way, but I'm so excited to continue this whole journey of school and be a nurse and help people and overview of the term the first term was awesome fun it's all just so rewarding and happy and yeah i really don't know what more to say right now i'm actually supposed to not be here i need to go to my grandparents for a white elephant party i just want to say to you guys Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting me and for your kind words in the comments. This is awesome. I kind of was initially just starting this to document my journey for myself and to have clips of my family in it, but I can kind of see like a cute little community growing and I really like it. This has been a lot of fun and I want to keep sharing my journey with you guys, sharing the positives and the negatives and all of that. hope this video was somewhat insightful for you again thank you so much for watching thank you for supporting me i hope you guys are really enjoying the holidays if you're having time off enjoying your time off and you're ready for the new year i hope you guys have a great rest of your morning afternoon and evening thank you so much and i will see you guys in my next video Bye.